Back in 2013, I lived in a homeless shelter. I was 32 then, and life hadn't been kind. After losing my job as a cashier, things spiraled. Rent became a distant dream. So, I ended up at the shelter. It wasn't bad, really. They gave us food and a place to sleep. I was grateful, especially around Thanksgiving. That's when everyone's generosity shone brightest. The shelter had volunteers to serve food. Most were regulars. But that Thanksgiving, there was a new face. A young guy, probably in his early 20s. He was quiet, barely smiled, but he worked hard. One thing was odd, though. He always wore gloves, thick ones, even while serving hot food. I brushed it off. Maybe he was just cautious about hygiene. Days passed, and things started getting weird. The gloves guy, let's call him Tom, became more reclusive. He started avoiding eye contact. His hands, always in those gloves, seemed to fidget more. Then, people began to get sick. Not everyone, just a few at first. We thought it was a stomach bug going around. But it got worse. People were getting really sick, violently ill. The shelter staff was worried, but they couldn't pinpoint the cause. One night, it hit me too. I was up all night, sick to my stomach. I remember thinking I was going to die. In my delirium, I saw Tom standing at the foot of my bed, just watching. I passed out soon after. The next morning, I confronted him. He just stared, those gloved hands twitching. I demanded to know what he was doing last night. He didn't answer, just walked away. I followed him, my mind racing with fear and suspicion. He led me to the kitchen, to the large fridge where they stored all the donations. He opened the fridge, and there it was, the source of our misery. Among the turkeys and pies, there were bottles of some unknown substance. I realized with horror that he had been poisoning us. But why? I confronted him, my voice shaking with fear and anger. He just stood there, his expression unreadable behind those gloves. Then he did something I'll never forget. He slowly removed his gloves, revealing his hands. They were horribly scarred, like they'd been burned badly. He started to cry telling me his story between sobs. He had been a chef, a good one. But a terrible accident left his hands disfigured, ending his career. He blamed the world, the people who ate happily while he suffered. He wanted them to feel his pain, to know what it was like to lose everything. I was frozen in shock, but then I heard footsteps. The staff had followed us, they saw everything. Tom was arrested. I never saw him again, but I still think about him. About how pain can twist someone into something unrecognizable. That Thanksgiving taught me a lot. It showed me how close we all are to the edge. How quickly life can turn. And it reminded me that behind every smile, every kind gesture, there could be a story we know nothing about. It's a chilling thought, one that haunts me to this day. I'm grateful for the shelter, but that Thanksgiving changed everything. I learned to look deeper, to understand that everyone's fighting a battle we know nothing about. 